Quick before the video starts, I do want to apologize for this taking so long. It was my original intention to release these and the flawless shader as one video, but then things went wrong and I just didn't get the flawless shader because I'm lazy and I didn't have time. So I'm going to split the videos up. This one will be on the Eververse ones and then I will make a video on the flawless one when I do actually get the flawless one. So apologies, I'm lazy, I didn't keep track of time and some stuff came up. Sorry. On with the video. So I do want to preface this by saying that I think they're both made for different things. Continuum Ally definitely being made for armor and the other one, Omnicronia, definitely being made for weapons, specifically the Vault of Glass weapons. Those are my thoughts. I really don't like this one that much. I think it's really ugly, but it is animated. It does have a little texture and it does make the Vog guns look like their original D1 counterparts. So if you like that, then this is probably a plus for you, but for me it's not because I just don't like it that much. The Continuum Alloy. I like this one because it has such a unique texture. There's no other shaders in the game that do this. It really lets the metal pop while leaving the cloth kind of behind and I actually do really like that. So I would definitely suggest you use this shader with anything with armor, specifically metal or stone, something along those lines. I think it looks really good with something like the Astro Strides or the Turbo Kickers or even the original. It does not look good with the three threads simply because there's not a lot of armor on the re-threads. I think it would look good with something like the Trials armor because it has armor. So keep in mind that it would not look good with something like the Vest of Optimacy or the Dragonfly Regalia Vest because there's not a ton of armor. Specifically the Valkyrian Vest, you have to experiment. Just pick something that has armor. Don't pick the Insight Rover Vest. Don't pick the Lux Chess Piece. Pick something like the Vest of the Exile. Pick something like the Virtuous Vest. The Virulent Vest. There's a lot of them. You just need to make sure you're picking armor. Same thing for the arms and the helmet. Don't pick something like the Arms of Optimacy or something like this side of the Empire Cartographer stuff. Just don't do it because I don't think it looks good. If you do, then do it. But something like the Dead End Cure 2.1 would not look good with the shader, but something like the Arms of the Exile or the other half of the Empyrene Cartographer armor does look good. So you just kind of have to experiment. I would suggest going with something like the Virtuous Grips, the Steeplechase Grips, the Contender Grips. I think these look good because it does texture the bottom, or something like the Valkyrian Vist, or the Grips of the Exile. That's what I would go with. Same thing for the helmet, something with armor. So. The Solstice Mask, obviously. There's a lot more armor on helmets than there is everything else. So I would not go with something like the Dragon Fiber Galley Mask because it doesn't look good. I would go with pretty much anything with armor. I'm not even going to bother giving examples because there's just so many. Just don't pick something stupid. Pick something good. And it'll look really good like it does now. In my opinion, there's a lot less to go with with weapons simply because neither of them look very good on weapons. Omnicronia obviously does the D1 thing, which is going to be a huge plus for people but it's not for me, which is why I'm rating it the way I am. Continuum Ally, in my opinion, just doesn't look very good on guns. It's my personal opinion. I think there's just way better shaders in the game. But Continuum Alloy still has a plus of being good on armor. Omnicronia does not, because it doesn't look good on armor. I think it looks really bad on armor, actually. That's my personal opinion. Some people may think differently, but this will be the full review for the shaders. I would say Omnicronia, if you're putting it on VOD gear, probably a 5 out of 10. I think this looks okay. I think I'm mainly giving it a 5 out of 10 because of how it looked in D1, and I know a lot of people would want that. In my personal opinion, I don't really care for that. I'd prefer something else, any of these shaders. But if you really do want the D1 stuff, then I would give this a 5 out of 10 for you. In my opinion, I'd rather go with something like this that looks like Imago Loop. For the other one, Continuum Alloy, I'd probably give it a 7, maybe 8 out of 10, so we'll go with a 7.5 out of 10. The reason I'm giving it this is because I really do like the texture and how unique it is, I just wish the colors were different. The reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is because the colors are weird. It is one of the better shaders for armor, I, do, I will say that, and I am going to use it, I think it looks good. There's two reasons why I'm not giving it a 10. One, it doesn't look good on guns. Two, it just is kind of a weird color. But regardless, it's still not the worst color they could have picked. And for that reason, I'm giving it a 7.5.
Continuum Alloy has a 7.5, Omnicronia has a 4 to 5, so we'll give it a 4.5. That's my personal opinion. In my opinion, you still should buy it. It's $5, and you get a nice shader and a not so nice shader, but you also do get 5 synth weave, which is always a plus because that's 5 ornaments. It's 5 bucks, it's not a huge deal. So that's that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching everyone.